Animal Rights in Islamic, Christian and Jewish Sharia, Law, Part 5. Chapter 6. Animal Rights in Slaughter. Even at slaughter, the animal has many rights according to the Islamic Sharia, Law, some of these rights are. 1. The right not to see the knife and not to sharpen it before it. ABD Allah bin Abbas, may Allah be pleased with him, narrated. The Messenger of Allah, peace and blessing of Allah be upon him, once passed by a man who placed his foot on the side of a sheep's neck and was sharpening his blade while the sheep was looking towards him. So, the Messenger of Allah, peace and blessing of Allah be upon him, said, Why have you not done it before this, laying it down? Do you want to make it die for several times? Al-Hakim To the right to be slaughtered in the best and most merciful way. Thus, the knife must be very sharp in order the animal to not feel pain as much as possible during slaughtering. The Prophet, peace and blessing of Allah be upon him, said, Verily Allah has prescribed isin, perfection, in all things. Thus, if you kill, kill in the best manner, and if you slaughter, slaughter in the best manner. Let the one of you who wants to slaughter to sharpen his blade well and to not make the animal he slaughters to suffer. Sahih Muslim It was narrated by Qur'a bin Iyaz, a man said. O Messenger of Allah, when I slaughter a sheep I become very merciful to it. Or he may have said, when I intend to slaughter a sheep, I feel mercy towards it, so. I don't slaughter it. Then the Messenger of Allah, peace and blessing of Allah be upon him, said twice, If you show mercy to a sheep, Allah will show you mercy as well. Al-Bakari in Al-Adab al-Mufrad The Prophet, peace and blessing of Allah be upon him, said, Anyone shows mercy, even to a sparrow during slaughtering it, Allah will show him mercy on the Day of Judgment. As Silsila as Sahiha. 3. The right not to be driven for slaughtering in an inappropriate way. Muhammad Ibn Sirin narrated that Gumar, may Allah be pleased with him, saw a man pulling a sheep from its leg to slaughter it, and he said to him. Woe to you, drive it to death, with the best manner. Reported by al muntirai and graded it as authentic, Sahih or Hassan, but Al-Albani graded it as weak in Dayfat Targib. Ibn Qudama, may Allah have mercy on him, said. He, i.e. the one who intend to slaughter an animal, should not catch it violently, nor should he pull it to slaughter violently, nor slaughter it in the presence of another, animal. Look on Al-Mabad. Fourth, the right to not be slaughtered in the presence of another animal. The Muslim scholars have agreed that it is one of the etiquette of slaughtering, not to slaughter an animal in the presence of another. The Encyclopedia of Jurisprudence, 10221. Chapter 7. Animal right not be slaughtered. Some may wonder about this right, how can the animal have the right not to be slaughtered? As we mentioned earlier, the slaughter of an animal must be for a direct benefit for the purpose of food. In a few cases the animal has the right not to be slaughtered, even if it is for food. Some of these cases are. 1. If the owner of the animal has benefited from it a great benefit. The Prophet, peace and blessing of Allah be upon him, said to an owner of a camel. It, the camel, has told me that you used it for working and transferring the water for years, and now when it became old, you want to slaughter it? The man answered. By the one who has sent you with truth as a prophet, you have said the truth that I wanted to slaughter it. But by the one who has sent you with truth, I will not do it. Ahmad Umran bin al Hasan reported, a woman from the Ansar, the inhabitants of Medina, and al Adba, the she-camel of the Prophet, peace and blessing of Allah be upon him, have been captivated, when the polytheists raided the pasturing animals of Medina. The two hands of the woman had been tied with ropes. The people, who captured the woman, used to leave their camels in front of their houses for rest at night. One night the woman could to untie her hands from the ropes and hasted towards the camels. Whenever she got near any camel, the camel started to make noise, so she left it until she got near Al-Adba. It did not make any noise, it was docile and experienced. She rode upon its back and drove it away and she went off. When they, the polytheists, learned about it, they chased her, but they couldn't catch her. The woman vowed to Allah, that if he saved her on this camel, she would sacrifice this camel, giving its meat to the poor people. As she reached Medina, the people saw her and they said, Here is Al-Adba, the she-camel of the Prophet, peace and blessing of Allah be upon him, dot. Then the woman told them that she had vowed that if Allah saved her on its back, she would sacrifice it. The people went to the Prophet, peace and blessing of Allah be upon him, and informed him of what happened. Whereupon the Prophet, peace and blessing of Allah be upon him, said, Subhan Allah, glory be to Allah.
It is such a reward she wants to reward it. She vowed to Allah that if he saved her on its back, she would sacrifice it. A vow to do an act of disobedience, towards Allah, must not be fulfilled, nor a vow to do something over which one has no right or authority. Sahih Muslim 2. If the animal has a continuing benefit, Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, reported. The Prophet, peace and blessing of Allah be upon him, went to visit a man from Al-Ansar, inhabitants of Medina. The man picked up a knife to slaughter a sheep for the Prophet, peace and blessing of Allah be upon him, the Messenger of Allah said to him, Don't slaughter a milk sheep. Sahih Ibn Majah Is Islamic slaughtering cruel to animals? Answer Islam's stance on what is permissible to eat and what is not is clear. There are strict rules when it comes to meat regarding what is allowed and what is forbidden. In Surat al maidah the table, Allah says Allah has forbidden you from eating those animals that die without being ritually slaughtered. He has also forbidden you from spilled blood, pig's meat, an animal on which other than the name of Allah was taken at the time of slaughter. An animal that was strangled or beaten to death, or one that fell from a high place. Or an animal that was gored by another animal and an animal that was hunted by a predator, such as a lion, tiger or wolf. Unless you reach any of these animals while they are alive and you slaughter them, in which case they will be lawful for you. He has forbidden you from those animals that were sacrificed for idols. He has also prohibited you from drawing lots to know whether something is destined for you or not, or to use as a means of making a decision when intending to do something or not. By doing these prohibited things a person is leaving obedience to Allah. Today the disbelievers have lost hope that you will leave the religion of Islam, because they see its strength. So do not fear them, but fear me alone. Today I have perfected for you your religion, which is Islam. I have completed my apparent and hidden favors on you. I have selected Islam as your religion, so I will not accept any other. If anyone is forced due to hunger to eat from an animal that was not slaughtered correctly, with no inclination to sin, there is no sin on such a person to do so. Allah is forgiving and compassionate. Almida 3 The Islamic practice of slaughtering animals by means of a sharp cut to the front of the neck has frequently come under attack by some animal rights activists as being a form of animal cruelty. The claim being that it is a painful and humane method of killing animals. In the West, it is required by law to stun the animals with a shot to the head before the slaughter. Supposedly to render the animal unconscious and to prevent it from reviving before it is killed so as not to slow down the movement of the processing line. It is also used to prevent the animal from feeling pain before it dies. German research studies pain. It therefore may come as a surprise to those who have made such acclamations to learn of the results of a study carried out by Professor Wilhelm Scholz and his colleague Dr. Hazim at the School of Veterinary Medicine, Hanover University in Germany. The study, attempts to objectify pain and consciousness in conventional, captive bolt pistol stunning, and ritual, halal. Knife, methods of slaughtering sheep and calves concludes that Islamic slaughtering is the most humane method of slaughter and that captive bolt stunning, practiced in the West causes severe pain to the animal. In the study, several electrodes were surgically implanted at various points of the skull of all animals, touching the surface of the brain. The animals were allowed to recover for several weeks. Some animals were then slaughtered by making a swift, deep incision with a sharp knife on the neck cutting the jugular veins and the carotid arteries as well as the trachea and esophagus, Islamic method. Other animals were stunned using a captive bolt pistol, CBP. During the experiment, an electroencephalograph EEG, and an electrocardiogram ECG, recorded the condition of the brain and the heart of all animals during the course of slaughter and stunning. The results were as follows. I. Islamic Method 1. The first three seconds from the time of Islamic slaughter as recorded on the EEG did not show any change from the graph before slaughter. Thus indicating that the animal did not feel any pain during or immediately after the incision. 2. For the following 3 seconds, the EEG recorded a condition of deep sleep unconsciousness. This is due to the large quantity of blood gushing out from the body. 3. After the above-mentioned 6 seconds, the EEG recorded zero level, showing no feeling of pain at all. 4. As the brain message, EEG, dropped to zero level. The heart was still pounding and the body convulsing vigorously, a reflex action of the spinal cord, driving a maximum amount of blood from the body thus resulting in hygienic meat for the consumer. 2. Western Method by CBP Stunning 1. The animals were apparently unconscious soon after stunning. 2. EEG showed severe pain immediately after stunning. 
3. The hearts of animals stunned by CBP stopped beating earlier as compared to those of the animals slaughtered according to the Islamic method resulting in the retention of more blood in the meat. This in turn is unhygienic for the consumer. Western-style slaughtering and mad cow's disease. Not only is this method of stunning animals before the slaughter severely painful as shown by the previous experiment, but there is also a rising concern that this method may be a factor in the spread of mad cow's disease from cattle to humans as it was discovered in recent research carried out at Texas and M. University and by Canada's Food Inspection Agency. That a method called pneumatic stunning, which is the firing of a metal bolt into the cow's brain followed by a pulverizing burst of 150 pounds of air pressure, delivered a force so explosive that it scattered brain tissue throughout the animal. This news is disturbing since the brain tissue and spinal cord are the most infectious parts of an animal with mad cow disease, which causes fatal Swiss cheese like holes in the brain of the infected animal. It is more disturbing to find out that around 30 to 40 percent of American cattle are stunned by pneumatic guns. Islamic regulations for the slaughter. As one can see from the previous studies, Islamic slaughtering of animals is a blessing to both the animal and to humans alike. In order for the slaughtering to be lawful, several measures must be taken by the one performing the deed. This is to ensure the highest benefit to both the animal and the consumer. In this regard, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, God calls for mercy in everything, so be merciful when you kill and when you slaughter, sharpen your blade to relieve its pain. The object used to slaughter the animal should be sharp and used swiftly. The swift cutting of vessels of the neck disconnects the flow of blood to the nerves and the brain responsible for pain. Thus the animal does not feel pain. The movements and withering that happen to the animal after the cut is made are not due to pain, but due to the contraction and relaxation of the muscles deficient in blood. The Prophet, peace be upon him, also taught Muslims neither to sharpen the blade of the knife in front of the animal nor to slaughter an animal in front of others of its own kind. The cut should involve the windpipe, trachea, gullet, esophagus, and the two jugular veins without cutting the spinal cord. This method results in the rapid gush of blood draining most of it from the animal's body. If the spinal cord is cut, the nerve fibers to the heart might be damaged leading to cardiac arrest thus resulting in stagnation of blood in the blood vessels. The blood must be drained completely before the head is removed. This purifies the meat by removing most of the blood that acts as a medium for microorganisms, meat also remains fresh longer as compared to other methods of slaughtering. Therefore accusations of animal cruelty should very rightly be focused on those who do not use the Islamic way of slaughtering but prefer to use those methods which cause pain and agony to the animal. And could also very well cause harm to those consuming the meat. Sources Al Slaughtering and Hunting of Animals Islamic Laws.1997 Corcoran, Layla Cattle Stun Gun May Heighten Mad Cow Risk Reuters News Service.257-1997 ECU slaughter of ruminants use of pneumatic stunning with air inject the European Commission 1702-1998. McAllister, Judith. School of Veterinary Medicine, Hanover University.120702. Naik, Zakir Islamic Way of Slaughtering Looks Cruel Islamic Voice.com 09-1999.